the museum itself, Amory Gardens, had just been designated a birding trail, which seemed to tie in really well to this idea of, of lightness. Um, birds being something that is uh, ephemeral and something that is fleeting and a subject that really is physically uplifting instead of being anchored to the ground like so much of the, the public sculpture that we typically encounter. Batik is a unique art form from most other two-dimensional media for a lot of reasons. One, because you're actually uh, creating designs almost in a negative fashion. So I'm not actually painting with any dyes or pigments. I'm actually painting with the wax so that you're focused not just on specific area of a painting, but you're focused on a specific step in the painting everywhere. panels top and bottom. Um, those were all designs that the visitors to the museums came up with themselves. So it really became a, as much of a creation process as a management process in order to uh, successfully bring the designs together. We got all the panels to their, as pushed them as far as we really thought we could push them, um, and it was time to start assembling them. And so we finally decided on coming up with a pattern of really just the most vibrant contrasting colors that you could have would help emphasize like the vibrancy and tie into the whole theme of lightness. The whole Light as a Feather exhibit was open during the day for visitors. And then that sort of led to the second phase of the project, which was to re-up them as an illuminated display. One of the coolest parts of the illuminated artworks was that the colors that were coming from the LED lights changed over time as well. And so as the colors kind of pulsed from warm colors to cool colors, the panels themselves seemed to kind of pulse and glow and breathe themselves. And so it added this whole kind of liveliness to each of the panels that I think really gave the project a whole different dimension. So I really appreciated the way it stretched me into different ways of solving new problems and approaching my work in different ways that uh, were so different from the way that I traditionally approached uh, my illustrations before. So the museum is not just a sculpture garden, but it's also a community arts center. The visitors to the museum, both young and old, had the opportunity to, to learn something in the community. So it was great to be able to not only create this project that had a great impact once it was installed, but also to create this project that had a great impact during the creation process itself. Really made it worthwhile for a lot of people.